ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Jay Cool and Charisma in the house. Sexy being chef by day, singer slash star entertainer by night. Are you ready for this? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa sweet thing. Oh, you know you're my everything. play a little Shaka Khan Rufus for you because you know, let me tell you I'm so excited today because right now I have this urge to have something sweet you know what I'm saying sweet but healthy at the same time all right and I know you guys have been asking me on my page you know when are you gonna start making those brownies that you always show pictures of well I said okay you know what I'm deciding to do this me for you you for me we're gonna do this all right so we're gonna make some delicious peanut butter flaxseed brownies it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be organic it's gonna be delicious all plant-based Amazing. All right. We're going to put some coconut oil in there. We're going to add some flax seeds. We're going to add oats. We're going to add peanut butter, all organic, of course, the crunchy type. You know what I mean? And we're going to add some dark chocolate. Now, I know y'all like some chocolate, even though I ain't that dark, but I got the chocolate for you, baby. Anyway, so we're going to make this happen. Let's go in and start these peanut butter flaxseed brownies, all right? It's gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna be so happy, so fulfilled. You can take it on snacks, you know what I'm saying? For, for your job, you know what I'm saying? Parties, you know what I mean? If you got a little date and you know there's a guy that don't like you but then you wanna just give it to him to make him like you, you can do that too because it's gonna help, all right? You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna make this happen, all right? Are you ready? Now, today I don't have my shirt off but I'm sure you can tell the difference, right? Ooh, ah, ooh, look at the way it moves. Oh, oh, oh watch out, watch out now. <laughs> all right, let's do this, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is what we're going to start off with, all right? So in a bowl, in a big bowl of your choice, of course, and I prefer stainless steel as always, um, so it doesn't outgas any chemicals, you know, you're going to put three cups of oats and you're going to put one and one and a half cups of shredded coconuts. Remember, this is all organic here, okay? Um, you're going to have two thirds of flaxseed, all right? And the flaxseed are going to be grounded. You make sure that they're grounded, all right? Then we're going to put one and one half cups of chunky, crunchy peanut butter, all right? And remember, this is organic as well, all right? If you want that smoothness of the peanut butter in there with that taste and the flavors blending in, that's what you're gonna have to do. It's gonna be so amazing, all right? Can somebody say amazing? Amazing in the house, <laughs> All right, and then of course, you want to mix it with a little bit of salt, add a little bit of salt, but of course, you know, I don't believe in processed salt, so you're going to put some Himalayan salt, all right? Now, just put a little dash of it here. I mean, depending on how salty you like yours, but you know, I like the mixture of the salt and the sweetness, all right? Now we add the Vietnamese cinnamon in there, all right? I would say probably about, you know, just one tablespoon. All right, and then we're going to add some coconut oil here. So I just added two tablespoons of coconut oil. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're going to heat up a saucepan here and we're going to heat it up, uh, I would say for, you know, I put it on high heat because I want my chocolate to melt fast. So here are my dark cho chocolates right here. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of oil to it. All right, so it can cook. All right, it can give it a nice little extra added body to the chocolate. All right, put in our dark chocolate here. Now, just so you know, the dark chocolate, you know, I try to take a dark chocolate that doesn't have any milk in it. All right, so, you know, even though it's sweetened, but there's no milk in here because I don't want any animal products or especially um, any type of, um, whatchamacallit, um, I don't want to have any problems with the milk because, you know, milk gives us problems with our stomach you know, and that's something that I don't want because I want my stomach to be acting accordingly and right. So if I do something that's not right, then my stomach will let me know, meaning if I eat something that's not right, my stomach will let me know. So I just move it around a lot here. Okay, we're gonna move it around, move it around, move it around so we get every piece of chocolate. Now, even though I'm putting it on high, but you have to be very careful with that because if you leave it on high too long, you can burn it. So, you know, you leave it on high and once you see everything starting to melt, then you put it back on low heat, all right? And that's what I do, all right? Now, I might not know too many things, but this, this I know, all right? And why? Cause the Bible tells me so. 
<laughs> oh, come on. You know I had to put that in there, you know? Okay. All right, so everything's melting. Look at that. It's looking good. It's melting nicely. You know what I mean? Melting nicely and fastly and efficiently. All right, so I'm going to turn it off now. That's basically what I did. I'm not even going to put it on low. I'm just going to turn it off because it's all going to melt. You know, if, if five or ten of them melt and then you have um, a whole bunch of them that haven't melted, then eventually they will start melting. All right? So this is what you want to do. All right? So let it melt. Let it flow. Let it grow. Let it snow. Let it snow. All right. So I'm leaving that here, letting it do its thing. All right? And then we're going to go back here. And now um, I think we've got everything we need. Oh, except, all right, so what I'm missing here is one cup of honey, all right? Now, I'm doing this for a client. I normally put agave, but because they like honey, I'm going to put honey in this instead. You know what I mean, honey? <laughs> all right, so let me see. Do we got one cup there? Uh, no, not quite. All right, so put a little bit more in here. Make it one cup. Now, I normally put agave, as I mentioned to you guys, all right? So agave would be a, a, a great alternative because agave is all vegan, all right? So, all right, I think we got a cup there. Yes, that's one cup. All right, so you can't really see because I, I use a lot of lemon with this, and that's why it looks like this, all right? So look at that. Look at, look at the gooness. I mean, it's going to be so delicious and amazing, all right? But let me... Let me finish this and then we're gonna see how it looks afterwards all right we're gonna mix this all together and bam all right ladies and gentlemen this is how it looks after you mash it and you mix it and you press and move this way to make it look smooth okay so i'm going to take this out Hold on, let me loosen it up just a little bit all right i'm gonna loosen 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 i mean it just looks like 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 cornmeal or something, right? But it's not. <laughs> All right, so this is how it looks. All right, we're gonna put it into this bowl. I mean, into this container. I'm gonna put it into this container and then we will start smoothing it out, All right? You smooth it out, smooth it out. Okay, and we'll see how it looks after it's smoothed out. Thank you. All right, guys, so this is how it looks when we mash it all together. Now, if you keep pressing and pressing and pressing, it really puts all the ingredients together where it's gonna be nice and smooth, okay? So I had a little bit left, so I had to put the rest in here. So if you see that, it looks nice and smooth as well, but you just keep pressing and pressing and pressing. And I think because of the, uh, the consistencies in the oil, the peanut butter, and uh, I would say the flaxseed. Uh, that's why everything is just like, you know, looking so smooth as it does now. Now stay right there. And then now we're going to add our chocolate. Yes. Top it with some chocolate, baby. I love me some chocolate. Oh, so delicious. And now we're gonna add the rest here, of course. You know, let me tell you, this is just like, icing on top of the cake, even though it's not a cake, it's more like a brownie. But to me, this is what I live for, all right? Making people happy, making me happy, making the place happy, making the world happy. Even the cats that are outside, they look at me. And let me tell you, they're not happy, but you know what, when they see me happy, then I'm happy because if I'm happy, I feed their asses. <laughs> All right, well, disregard that's last one. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're just going to smooth everything out. Look at that. We smooth everything out. Now what's gonna happen, Ladies and gentlemen, for you who don't know what might happen, of course, um, once we smooth this out, we put this in the fridge for at least about uh, half an hour, you know what I mean? Or maybe just 20 minutes, you know what I mean? You're going to see it's going to start to harden, and then it's going to be like that brownie that your mom used to make, except it's basically plant-based. But, of course, that's only if you use, as I told you guys, the agave and not the honey, okay? All right, honey? <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to put this in the fridge, all right, for at least half an hour, and then we're gonna come back and see how it looks, all right? Beautiful, right? Let's do that. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're finally done. Okay, so after, this only took about like 15 minutes, you know, or even less depending on how fast you are, right? So I finally finished it after taking it out of the fridge. Now, I took it out a little bit too early, but I'm putting it out there just so you can see how it looks and give you the idea of how it's going to look. And of course, my, my facial expression, how it's gonna taste. <laughs> all right, so let's go down here. All right, now this is the additional part. All right, so you see the chocolate melted already. And then this is the one where, you know, the chocolate didn't fully melt, but you can see on the sides, right, where it got like really hard, right? So what we're going to do, let's see how it looks once we pull it out. Now let's see, hopefully I'll make sure that this looks kind of presentable because, you know, I'm showing it to you guys and I want you guys, you know, making comments that, oh, it looks like crap. All right, so it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. And look at that. Look at that brownie. Look at that brownie. Look how, oh my God, my mouth is watering. I can't even speak, all right? Look at everything put together, all right? From the uh, flax seeds, you know, you have the oats, the peanut butter. Oh my God, it's so, it looks so delicious and I bet you it's gonna taste amazing. Look, 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 look at the melting of the chocolate, all right? I mean, you can't beat this, all right? So we're gonna put this on this plate right here, all right? And now for the final taste, mm. all right? I'm looking at this here. All right, now I'm gonna try this, all right? And I'm gonna tell you how this tastes. Mm. <laughs> this tastes amazing, oh my God. All right, look at this. It's just, he's finger looking, all right? And we know we ain't talking about chicken here, all right? It's so good, mm. my God, it's so good. I just wanna be a, oh, sweet thing. Don't you know you're my everything. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm out of here. Thank you very much for joining me. And if you want the rest of the recipe, please look at the rest of the video and also go on my site, Facebook, Jacob Charisma, and at the same time, go to YouTube, Jacob Charisma, all right? We'll see you later. Peace.